All right, here it is. So I'm the current resident of the Love Shack. I think this handle's so cool. It's smooth, it's got cool texture to it. So it's, we've got the front door here. And then here are some hooks for clothing and stuff. Some shelves, so I keep some clothes on here and got some food. And this is how we heat the Love Shack. This is the miniature rocket mass heater for the Love Shack. It's called the Mini Mouse. And so you can see where that orange brick is. That is the wood intake. And I'm going to use my finger to point out the direction that the air flows through this. So it starts here and it uses a J-tube design. So it'll move in the shape of a J up, back down through the barrel and then up through the exhaust again. And so the use of this is that the hot air from the burn is still flowing through the chamber and heating it up. And you can see on the top, it has what's called a cob hat. This is to add to the mass of the heater and help it to store heat. If you look inside, you can see there's a stove fan that spreads the heat around the building. And behind it, there are rocks which also heat up and add to the mass that will radiate while the heater is not being used. What you can see here, I've actually got a fire going. It's a vertical wood feed, so the gravity actually feeds the wood into it. Another cool thing about this design is that the heat shield is actually inside of the barrel. So you, you might notice that this barrel is actually extremely close to the wood and you don't want to, you know, start a fire. So the back of the barrel is um, full of bricks that are insulating that area so it doesn't get hot back here. But in the front of the barrel, there aren't bricks and it gets hot to the touch. I can't keep my hand on there. And that will help the heat radiate to the rest of the room. This is a great device. It's uh, definitely suitable for a building of this size, even in the Montana winter. Here's the indoor firewood rack. And this is approximately how much wood I'll use in a week right now. It's a uh, March but also in February, probably to the top of this in the coldest week is how much I would use. I'm using the bottom bunk as a bed right now and the top bunk more for storage, but it's, it's pretty open. So the Love Shack has a couple windows. One is about south facing and the other is west facing. That lets some nice light in. You can see we're getting some direct sunlight. It's like 1130, daylight savings just started today. Uh, we, so we have some shelves here, which is great for more storage space. And down here is kind of the nightstand. It's also the storage for the batteries for the solar system. The solar panels are on the south side, so on the other side of that wall. The battery is down here, and so what that powers is we have some lights up top and there are a few outlets here so this is a direct current usb it's perfect to charge my phone which is pretty much the only thing i use it for the love shack was originally called the porta cabin because it's a skiddable structure these two logs right here are the skids and they can be used to move the structure check out this art Right now it's about 60 degrees Fahrenheit. One thing I really like about the system is how efficient it is. Compared to a regular wood burning stove, this definitely uses a lot less wood. Here's the kindling cracker. It's a blade that you will use a mallet to hit pieces of wood into until they split. And then here is storage and wood rack. I usually get this thing up to 70 degrees Fahrenheit in the evenings and when I'll wake up it'll be maybe 50 or 60 degrees Fahrenheit depending on how cold the night was. There is insulation in the building but it's just a small small structure so it doesn't have a lot of thermal inertia to keep it warm. There is the mass taking advantage of the cob hat and the barrel. I think the Love Shack is great. 
It's so cozy. If you like this sort of thing, come on out to the forums at permies.com where we talk about permaculture, homesteading, and rocket mass heaters all the time. I don't know why, I just, they kind of look cool.